Iranian love song plays from a cassette as a driver navigates his way through the snow-dusted Lehman Valley in northwestern Afghanistan. Crowned in the back of his station wagon is a mother and her six children, who've just left behind a life of constant struggle and hardship, all they've ever known. Among them, nine-year-old Pawan. Our cameraman Siddiqui asks her how she's feeling. I'm so happy, she says, with a beaming smile. CNN met Pawana, dressed in pink, in an internally displaced camp in Baghdad's province back in October. Her father claims he was selling her to feed the rest of the family, as a humanitarian crisis grips the country. He'd already sold his 12-year-old into marriage and told CNN that unless his situation improved, he would have to sell his four remaining daughters as well, including the youngest, just two. If I didn't have these daughters to sell, he asks, what should I do? Pawana's buyer, who lived in a nearby village, confirmed he was taking the nine-year-old as his second wife. I'm 55 years old. I have a wife with four daughters and a son. I bought her for myself. I will wait till she becomes older. CNN was granted rare access to film the final payment and handover. The buyer asked for it to take place at a house in his village and not the camp for security reasons. He paid a total of 200,000 Afghanis, just over 2,000 US dollars for Pawana, in land, sheep and cash. This is your bride, please take care of her, says Pawana's father. Of course I will take care of her, replies the man. As he drags her away, she whimpers. <laughs> Moments later, she digs her heels into the dirt, refusing to go, but it's hopeless. CNN's story caused an outcry. Now in a distressing story out of Afghanistan, showing the heart. The network was inundated with offers of help from the public, aid organizations, and NGOs wanting to assist Pawana and the other girls featured in our story. The US-based charity Too Young to Wed took the lead. Its founding executive director, Stephanie Sinclair, has been working to end child marriage and help vulnerable girls around the world for almost 20 years. She says the perfect storm is brewing in Afghanistan, and it's the girls that are suffering. I know these stories are difficult to watch and they're difficult to do, and they bring around a lot of concern, but at the same time, we need to keep people understanding that this is happening. We need to keep ringing the alarm bell. Just understand these are real girls and real lives, and they can be changed. Within Baghdad's province, there was widespread backlash towards Pawana's father and the buyer after our story went to air with claims they'd brought shame on the community. Even the Taliban told CNN the practice is forbidden. I request everyone not to sell their children. Child marriage is not a good thing, and we condemn it. Women's rights activist and US citizen Mabuba Siraj, who chose to stay in Kabul after the Taliban swept to power in August to run her women's shelter, says Pawana's case is just the tip of the iceberg. There is a lot of misery, there is a lot of mistreatment, there is a lot of abuse is involved in these things. And it will keep on happening with the hunger, with the winter, with poverty. As a result of the controversy caused by the story and intervention from the charity, Pawana was allowed to return home after almost two weeks with the buyer's family. Since Pawana has been rescued, I'm very happy for that, says Pawana's father. He admitted to CNN that under duress from the community and some local media outlets, he changed his story out of embarrassment for what he had done and apologised. The buyer is unreachable for comment, but the debt is still outstanding. Too Young to Wed then organised to have Pawana, her mother and siblings removed from the camp with the father's permission. Their four-hour journey to neighbouring Harad province was broken up with some childhood fun. <laughs> before arriving at the motel. For children who've only ever lived in a tent, the novelty of being warm, fed and safe wasn't wearing off. They rescued me. They've given me a new life, says Pawana. I thank the charity for helping me. 
A few days later, they moved into the safe house. Hawana's mother, 27-year-old Reza Ghul, has never lived in a house. She was sold into marriage at 13 and has since had seven children, six of whom were girls. Most days in the camp, she would beg for food and often her family would go to sleep hungry. Now all she wants is to give her children a better life. I have a dream, a wish they go to school and start an education, she says. I have a lot of wishes for them. Too Young to Wed has already begun distributing aid to Pawana's impoverished camp, among others. While the small charity is prepared to bridge the gap, they're calling on the large aid organisations to step up. These are communities that have relied on international aid for the last 20 years. And so with a lot of that aid stopping, these people didn't stop needing support. You know, we can't let them pay the price you know, because ultimately girls always pay the biggest price. I speak to Pawana on Zoom through my colleague Basia. Hello, Pawana. I'm Anna. How are you? How are you feeling? I'm very good, thank you. How are you? I'm fine. I'm so happy. I'm safe. I rescued. Then she asks, when are you sending me to school? She wants to study and become a doctor or a teacher. But fairy tale endings are few and far between for girls in Afghanistan, even more so now than ever. Anna Corrin, CNN.